Do you know the actual size of the food tech industry? The domestic market is estimated to be about 600 trillion won, and the global market is estimated to be about 50 quadrillion won, which is far beyond the market size of the semiconductor and automobile sectors. As such, the future market value of the food tech industry is hard to even grasp. Hello everyone, my name is Alex Sigrist with Aving News, host of the Seoul Food Tech Startups Recap of 2022. I'm at the Seoul Food Tech Startup Center, the center of the Korea food tech startup industry. Let's recap some of the biggest news stories from the Seoul Food Tech Startup Center in 2022. We start off in January. The Guangzhou Career Experience Support Center signed an MOU with the Seoul Food Startup Center to help young people choose their career path, hoping to revitalize the youth startup experience program. For young people who dream of becoming entrepreneurs, the two organizations plan to promote various joint projects such as educational cooperation, mentoring, and tours of outstanding companies. The 2022 Global Advancement Distribution Consultation Meeting was also held in this month. The Seoul Food Tech Startup Center held a distribution consultation meeting with a distribution market development agency to promote food companies' global expansion. Food companies had the opportunity to explain and share their products in person at the event, which was attended by incumbent marketing directors of major distribution companies. And they offered consultations on product distribution at this event. Next up, we move on to February of this year. Resident company Punta Company was selected for the IBK Startup Development Program. Punta Company, an online tasting platform operator, was selected as a target company for IBK Changgong Program, a promising startup development program of IBK Industrial Bank, in recognition of the growth potential of its business model. Through this program, they were able to receive professional consulting, various non-financial services, and networking as well. Next up, we jump into March. Samsung Well Stories POC program final tasting event took place in this month. The final tasting of Samsung's Well Story proof of concept program for collaboration with excellent food tech startups was held at the center's IR Kitchen. HN Novatech participated in this program at the recommendation of the center. And alternative meat samples produced with the technology of HN Novatech were tested by professional evaluators. Jumping into the next month, we go into April. A workshop to strengthen managers dedicated to startup incubation center in Daegu and Gyeongsangbukdo took place. As part of the training of incumbent managers of startup incubation institutions in Daegu and Gyeongbuk, a field trip was taken to the Soom Food Startup Center. There was networking to share questions about facility operations and know-how and other information along with the current status of the center operations and facility tours, all of these events took place in an effort to expand the capabilities of these managers in this area. In June, resident company Fresh Bell was selected as a baby unicorn company. Fresh Bell, a health juice development company, was selected as a baby unicorn company by the Ministry of SMEs and Startups among promising small and medium-sized companies with high growth potential. Fresh Bell is a beverage company and is attracting attention as a specialized technology that uses herbal ingredients. And it was recognized for its excellence in K-food for its mass delivery to the largest U.S. retailer in 2022. Companies selected as baby unicorns receive support such as commercialization funds and R&D funds from the Ministry of SMEs and Startups. Next up, we'll talk about successful returnees and happy returnees participating in this special fair. 
Nine tenant companies participated in the 2022 successful Returning to Farming, Return to Village Happiness Fair hosted by Gungmin Ilbo. Four participating companies won the Youth Startup Excellence Contest, an additional event of this fair, and multiple tenant companies here at the Seoul Food Tech Startup Center were recognized. The top award to Fresh Bell, Deum, the Excellent Award, Open Source Lab, and the Encouragement Award for 11 Leader. Now we move into September, a visit to the Indian Training Center of the International Labor Organization. There was a visit to the training center with officials from Indian food-related small and medium-sized enterprises to benchmark the Korean agri-food industry. It consisted of the Seoul Metropolitan Government's Food Tech Enterprise Support System and Center Operation Status and Facility Tours. By providing networking opportunities with these three food tech companies, We Meet, Punta Company, and Fine Food Lab, the opportunity to promote the excellence of Korean food tech startups and understand the Indian market was not taken for granted. Now we jump into October. A live commerce capacity building program was conducted. In order to enter live commerce, an increasingly popular source of income and of course brand building as well for startup companies, 15 tenant companies are taking part in a capacity building program. Now participating companies in this program are provided close consulting by experts on broadcasting, planning, speech and marketing and they are given opportunities to directly broadcast through platforms such as Naver Shopping Live and Grip. And we go into November. It was time for the 12th recruitment of new tenant companies. The center recruited new tenant companies with innovative items in the agri-food sector. The newly selected tenant companies will move into the center from next year, February 23rd, and be provided with various incubation programs, social workspaces, and auxiliary facilities for helping them get that rapid growth that they're looking for. It's certainly been an exciting year in food tech, especially here in Seoul. And the best part is being here on the ground floor of innovation at the Seoul Food Tech Startup Center, where we get to see the future of the food industry and where it's headed. That's gonna be it for this year, 2022. Can't wait to see what happens in 2023 and what that year may bring. My name is Alex Sigurds with Aving News, and I'll see you in 2023.